Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. Today I'm with my e-bike rickshaw from 630. If you want to take a look, we got the back passenger seat. We've got Lisa on the camera. We're actually going to go to the grocery store together and run some errands. Um, if you haven't seen the rickshaw before, you can check out our YouTube channel. We got other videos about it, but basically you can take passengers on the back here up to two adults and three kids. It's a 750 watt uh, e-bike with pedal assist and a throttle. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go run some errands. We're gonna show you how it works, gonna come along with us. Lisa's got a little purse and some water. So we're gonna throw these down here in the basket. Right here, oh, there we go. So we'll just put those in there. We got a little more room for our groceries as well. Go ahead and tuck those in, okay. Alrighty. And Lisa's gonna get on the seat here. We'll go ahead and show you. So we got the seat belt back here and she'll film as we ride along. She's all in. <laughs> and there we have it. So she's gonna keep it going. I'm gonna get on, if you can see here on the front display, um, I've got my battery life and my pedal assist level. This is my phone mount. This is um, something we sell extra at 630. And I got my horn here, so it'll be nice and safe. So uh, let's do this. And I'll, I have a throttle too, so I don't even need to pedal actually. And grocery store is about, um, Maybe two miles away. We do have to go down a pretty big hill. Cool thing about the rickshaw is we can park it in the uh, um, bike rack. All right, I'll do a little pedaling while we're on the straightaway here. And I have gears here too. So um, I'm gonna shift up, it's a trigger shifter. Now I'm in seventh. So the gears are actually not correlated to the electric, um, but when you have the pedal assist going, you wanna try to match the gears of the bike to how much assistance you're getting. And I don't know if you can see here, but we're going about 14, now we're slowing down as I come into the uh, stop here. All right, we got a car, so we'll go ahead and stop. And we can fit right in the bike lane. I know people have been concerned about that but I'll just keep us in the bike lane here. And I'm gonna stay with the brakes engaged the whole way down. That's one important thing while you're riding the rickshaw is if you're going down big hills, you don't want to, uh, you know, wait till the last minute to pull the brakes. You want to be easing the brakes the entire way down the hill. All right, we got a little flat here. I'm actually going to reduce the pedal assist. So you can see here, I'm in five. I'm going to take it down to three as we have some good flat ground. Lisa's about 140 pounds and uh, Honestly, it has like zero effect on the feel of the bike for me. The steering, the braking, like basically no difference between having a passenger or not. <laughs> so we're gonna have to come back up this hill too. So I'm actually gonna get out of the road. Well, we got a green light, which is nice. So we're gonna go through this and across the way here, we got a sidewalk, which I'm gonna jump onto. So actually, I think we have a path right here. Let's take the path. Let's at least see if we have a path. Well, we do, we just can't get in there. No problem. <laughs> There is a path down here. Oh, a little off-roading. Okay. So 
So we can fit on the sidewalk too. Now we do have a bike lane here, but just for simplicity, take the sidewalk. Found a nice path here. Go ahead and shift into level five. Oh. Okay. All right, we'll go this way. You can see how easily I can turn and navigate. Plan B. Well, we got to pavilions here. Uh, Lisa's gonna run in and grab a few snacks. I'll stay out here with the bike. Cool thing is we're just parked right up here by the carts. Um, and here, I'll show you Lisa. So here's where she rode. And we're just in the parking lot here. All right, so I will wait for her while she runs in and then we'll be on our way. Good luck. <laughs> All right, Lisa's got the goods. Gonna load them up here. All good? Okay. Oh, I turned it off to save power. Let's get that back on. I'm gonna go a little, make a quick little run to the bank too. Everyone enjoying their lunch out here?
pull up to the ATM here, do a little banking. Okay. Easier on the rickshaw than on, in a car to reach the screen. Okay, no more transactions. Let's keep going. And I'm even steering with one hand right now. I mean, not recommended, but this is how easy it is to turn. Just make sure you obey all traffic laws. operated a U-turn with one hand. Pulling up to the gas station. Oh wait, we don't need gas. All these people do. We're fully electric here. Any of that rattling you hear is Lisa's water bottle. I mean, it is pretty amazing. Like, it's not very difficult for me to steer this thing at all. Now, granted, hills will be a little more challenging, but. So we're about to embark on a pretty steep hill. Um, shouldn't be a problem, but you guys can ride along and see how we do. All right, so in preparation, I'm gonna downshift into first, and I'm gonna leave it in pedal assist five to get up the hill. Keeping in mind, I'm 225 pounds myself. Oh, there we go, now we're in pedal assist five. If you can see how big this hill is, but it's not little. Watch out for the bushes. Slow through these bushes here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, we made it. We made it. You all right back there? <laughs> all right. Got a little flat ground and one more minor incline and then we're good to go. All right, 
got another little, little but fairly steep incline here. So I'm gonna go ahead and shift into first. Keep on pedal assist five. And hope we don't get any more bushes coming out at us. Did it. Ooh, crushed the pine cone. All right, we got the sidewalk now. And give my legs a little rest after the pedal assist up the hill. We'll just cruise home with the throttle. Also, we have a little parking brake up here too, so I can just go ahead and engage that so Lisa won't roll away. All right, nice ride to the grocery store on the e-bike rickshaw. Um, I don't know actually. I should have tracked the miles, but I didn't. Probably about four miles, five miles. We started with uh, three-fourths of a battery. We're down to, well, it was about half a battery, so we lost about half, because when we started riding, we were at three-fourths about Two minutes in, it dropped to a half battery. So I actually haven't charged this in several rides. So um, we still got some juice. It's about 370 pounds combined coming up a pretty big hill on the way back. So the bigger the hills and the more load, the faster you will drain the battery. Um, just remember to keep it charged when you go out for a ride so you can have the juice to go wherever you need to go. So yeah, yeah it was a lot of fun. And uh, if you want, check it out on 630.com. Any questions or anything, comment below, or you can reach out to us, the team at 630.com, or call us 310-982-2877. So thanks for riding along, and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.